Hello, I am Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Civilization 5 as Assyria. So the plan for today is to attack Korea, uh, but before we get to that, let me just quickly answer two comments. Uh, one was about the great artist that we got last time, uh, that uh, the tooltip on him uh, showed like three and a half thousand golden age points, and when I popped him we got like f almost five thousand. Uh, if you check the description, it says uh, how many points you get from him, but then, then there is also a line that the number is increased, I think it's 10% per completed theming bonus. So I think the number that is there shows how much you get before these bonuses are applied and uh, the number that shows after you pop the great person, that's the final number, so that's one thing. And the other comment... Uh, if only I remembered, uh, hmm, come on, I needed to remember two things, and of course I forgot one of them, that's, uh, that's me, uh, let me quickly check, I can't believe that I forget that, uh, oh, I know, growing cities and the specialists, so I unlocked all our cities that they can grow again, but, uh, I will lock them again on size 20. I know that we are getting a lot of happiness now from uh, uh, from the landmarks, but also remember as we are progressing through the game, our citizens' needs will go up with every era, and I have no way to predict how that's gonna affect everything. Uh, in this version, I really don't want to guess, I want to play it safe, and uh, uh, I don't want to like overgrow my cities and get into situation when, for example, I don't know in uh, what is now modern. Let's say if we get to information era, suddenly cities with population twenty five would become too needy, and I wouldn't have any way how to fight uh, the uh, how to fight the sudden increase of unhappiness. So I just want to play it safe, stop most of my cities around size 20 so that we get the one extra free unit and uh, then we see what happens with unhappiness. If we like enter the information era let's say and uh, we see that all our cities are quite happy and we can keep drawing, we can, all we can always unlock them. But uh, as I said I want to play it safe and uh, uh, make sure that later in the game I don't run into problems because my cities are just too big. It would be very hard to then do anything about that. It's not easy to uh, decrease the population. So I'd rather have the reserve and we can always start growing them again. Okay, uh, now about the war with Korea. I was thinking about declaring on this turn. Problem is we don't have any of our land ships ready. They'll start popping up quite soon, at least the first one will. But um, it's also gonna take some time to get them in position. I was thinking maybe it's safer to just wait, get all the land ships in position and then just uh, do a blitzkrieg rather than uh, start the war, let Korea like organize the defenses on the border and then try somehow to punch through. Even with superior units that could be a bit of a problem. I really want to have the option to send my land ships over the border to exposed field guns. And if I declared now and had to defend for a while, I think I would lose the option because Korea would move uh, like fusiliers into the front line. So I'll just wait until I get, I don't know, at least five, four or five land ships to the border and then we're gonna declare. I know that uh, meanwhile we, uh, Greece can lose Laventa, they can lose Singapore, but well, uh, what can you do? I think it's better to be safe here than here and here. So, enough talking, let's end the turn. How are we doing? Uh, how long is it gonna take until we can buy a new great person? We actually can buy a great person right now. Uh, what do we want? I think I will buy one great prophet. We will need one at some point anyway, even though this one is still in decent shape. Uh, so let's do it now. And next... Next we'll see. I wouldn't mind another artist. How do we have here? 
Yeah, give me more railroads. Same here. Also, waiting a few turns means that um, you'll have some more railroad tiles, and therefore the movement will be even faster. We have workers all the way between all. Well, I think. Um, we are uh, like great minds. How, how do you say this in English? Great, great minds think alike, something like that. Um, okay. What's it gonna be? He moved some units forward. He didn't lose anything. He just entered modern era. Uh, we may have to help uh, Antwerp even. How the hell did they take so much damage? Okay, so who declared? Laventa is fine. Singapore is fine. Hmm. Oh, and by the way, you probably noticed that I enabled this unit list again. I don't really like this list down here, but I really want to have the option to check uh, the total numbers. Uh, multiple times I was really missing the option to check how many un <clears throat> units of each type I have, so that's why I enabled the unit list again. Uh, where do we start? Let's move you here. Holy moly. Well, that's one down. Like a hundred more to go. Swap here. Attack. Attack. I have a feeling that if I try to kill the field gun, I'm gonna lose the facility in return. Although this tile is not that exposed. Because if I moved something here, let's say, it would be like the only target uh, for multiple units here. For example, it, uh, this guy is in range of the of this field gun, but it's, this field gun has also other units in range, so hopefully they won't all focus attacks on him. Now let's move across so that this field gun can move closer. Let's try to kill the cavalry. Oh, and by the way, they the Great Wall is... Uh, obsolete because we were able to move the gatling gun and attack i just realized that that's great greece should be able to handle whatever comes from this side hopefully i'll leave a facility behind just in case but uh, let's move all our log both these guys have logistics no this one has logistics so let's move him here it's Actually, that is in range of the city, but we have multiple units in range of the city. Hopefully, it will be fine. Um, which one is more experienced? This one. Let's move you. Cross the river. I'll probably try to move a facility around this tile, but right now that would be a suicide. Fortify. And uh, I may actually need the siege tower somewhere around here, so let's start moving it. I don't think that these two Gatlingas will be taking that much damage. Okay, you will move. What is this? That's the Prophet. That can stay in the city.
Hmm. Hoping that I can kill the Fusilier with mine. Let's see. One. Two. Now I should be able to get the kill. Uh, the musketman is not in the best position. I think if I could move here, perhaps, how bad idea would that be? Look at that! This is disgusting! And everything has logistics! Right? Yep, everything has logistics. Problem is that the uh, field guns now also have indirect fire. So, like, standing in the forest doesn't help. Uh, they, if there is a field gun here, it can attack this facilier. Let's move the Gatling gun forward. That's one unit on our side that has uh, uh, logistics. How much damage can I do? Promise I'm attacking over the river here. Um, let's move you to the side. Attack. This should be a kill now. Oh, come on! If I move, attack, then the tower is gonna be stuck here. So it's better to just move and pillage. Move the cavalry to the side and move this guy forward. Now I should probably also reposition my generals and uh, the siege tower. I really need this tile. Okay, let's move the general here. That's pretty risky, but I want the support for this guy. And the siege tower is gonna stay, let's say here for now. Move the general like this. So now everything here has the support. Um, and did I miss any units that can stay? Still shoot or do something. Fortify. I have a bad feeling about this war. Oh, whoa, 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 chill. Mm. This should be safe, right? Okay. More railroads. And here's our first land ship. So what do we want to give it? Shock one, two. Then we can get shock three, drill, sentry. I don't think we want sentry yet. And charge. Combat strength when attacking in open terrain 20% against wound, wound, wounded units. Um, hmm. Looks like a lot of open terrain here and uh, wounded units, well, we should be able to meet that condition almost every time. Okay, let's go charge and even charge too, that's already 40% bonus against wounded units, that's a lot of damage. And how far can you go? That's the most important question now. And not quite as far as I hoped. Fortify. And how are we doing up here? That's also gonna be quite interesting. How much money do we have? 5,800. Um, okay. May need this upgrade. There is a cavalry. Um, I really don't want to move it. If I move it, there'll be barbarians spawning again. But... 
for now I may not have a choice so let's move to this way anything else I want to move back and maybe lure some units out of range of the city that I could maybe kill them. All the workers should be, or are they found one? Actually, they are not. Because this cavalry can steal them. Chinese, Greek. If it does, then I, I'm gonna kill the cavalry there, so maybe I will do it. And I can take the worker back, it will just have a uh, prisoner of war for a while, which is not in the end of the world. Uh, launch being delayed in Beijing, textile and I uh, uh, technology secrets from Beijing, great. Might have been actually Korea. That's why they entered the modern era. They just stole, um, they just stole combustion. Okay, now we get quite a few people because I unlocked like three cities. Let's see, the forest. We'll have to wait. I think. How are we doing, money wise? Minus thirty eight. Um, how many buildings are we still missing? I have to be careful with factories, we don't have that much coal. I'd rather get uh, um, train stations first. So I'm not gonna queue it up. And that means we don't need that much production, so let's go for more gold. This looks good. Wait, can we lock one more? They are pretty close to an engineer, just uh, noticed. If I unlock the farm. 1828. I don't need to grow that fast, but I could use an engineer in 25. So I didn't realize that we had an engineer coming uh, only in 25 turns. I thought that the closest engineer was like 60 turns away. Uh, do you need more food? How are you doing happiness-wise? Okay, if you don't want access un uh, access unhappiness, we kind of have to lock the farm. And no other options. That's that. And the Beijing. Uh, can we find something better, perhaps? Nope. I'll have to get some more lumber mills on these tiles. Even without the adjacency bonus, the lumber mills are pretty decent. Okay. Next. And this turn could be really painful. I'm nervous that we're gonna lose this facility air. You could lose this one. So this one is in range of like 10, 11 attacks. Even more if they move these units. So they can definitely completely crush him. And the AI again didn't find a way how to focus uh, those attacks. There is one good thing about this declaration though. Uh, it didn't call body guy in. That's actually great. Uh, you have gems, and those gems are quite cheap. Uh, can't get embassy, okay. Uh, I am definitely willing to trade her some luxuries. She's like 10 tags behind or something like that. 42, we have 50. So 8 tags behind. She shouldn't be a problem if we can give her some, or give her, trade her some cheap luxuries. And we can get how much from this? Would you give me 8? You would. That's a 
okay-ish trade. Look at Antwerp. I have to somehow block this road. They can still send units from the north, that's the problem. I can't completely uh, prevent Korea from sending units there. Uh, let's see, if I kill enough units, maybe they just won't be able to deal enough damage to the city. Also, the problem is it doesn't have that many hit points. It's pretty strong, but the hit points are quite low. Let's check the promotions. There we go. I think I'll take cover. Usually I don't do that with my siege weapons, but uh, I'm quite scared of the city bombardment and I'm like all the range damage that uh, Korea has, so maybe some extra uh, ranged defense is not a bad idea. I look at that, I just moved away and the barbarians kicked in immediately. That sucks, I need that cavalry. Um, what is this? Hello, there, uh, 14, yeah, that looks good. We are done with this section, keep working on more. Man, they are not stupid, the cavalry didn't move in. Maybe it's because they actually don't see the workers. Let's get another one. Are you are actually done with this section? Interesting, I don't see the... Oh, there it is, now it's kicking in. So, do we have the damage to kill a Fusilier? We should. Yep. That's good. We should be able to kill a unit on this tile basically every turn. I'm pretty sure they'll keep sending new units here. Oh wait, I'm sitting in a, uh, in a fort. Mm, that's actually quite inconvenient this time. I wanted to move this fossiler forward and this one back. Uh, well, I can still retreat. I can do it. Let's see, you move back. I'll move forward, attack here. Wait, wait, wait. No, that would be a bad idea. Oh, did I screw up? Maybe not. What if I just... There are just too many options right now. I apologize, this might take a while. Uh, I'm trying to save everything, I'm not sure that I can do it. Um, you will attack here. I'll move back, and now the question is how far can this guy go? I was hoping that uh, I will get uh, a small heal. I still lost a hit point. You can 
Pillage. It might be actually enough. No, I can. Send you forward. This is probably going to be the most uh, problematic move. If I want to kill the Lancer. So wait, I can do it. Question is, can I afford it to move the cavalry? I probably can't. Uh, so I have to move it back. There is the kill. Fine. So far, so good. They have two more fusiliers coming. This is what I needed in the previous war, the ability to shuffle my units around from behind the border. Uh, and I just need to move units, more units into position for next turn. There. Uh, we're gonna need the general here, and we're gonna need that siege tower somewhere around here as well. This one, you can move. Uh, you can actually move all the way, thanks to the road. Uh, too bad I can't move anything into this gap. Really? And uh, now, how bad idea is it to move a unit or unit multiple units here? Let's find out. Do they have extra range? Let me check promotions. I need to know the icon for extra range. Um, where can I switch? What type of unit? I'm looking at is it here no unit here no close close do I really have to do it this way <clears throat> logistics indirect fire indirect fire wait they can't get extra range Splash damage, splash damage, range here. It's the same one. No, it seems that they don't have range. If I moved, let's say, Fusilier here. This is a suicide. Yeah, that's not enough damage, but I want to try it. I want to move the field gun and start bombarding the city. Move this one. 
Ah, oh, it's gonna be bad. What is this? Monte declared on no Bodica declared on Monte. That's ambitious. Florence declared war on you. Where's Florence? Where's Florence? Florence. Ah, whatever. Okay, 45, that was a long turn. Should I be even thinking about popping a great general, getting a citadel here? Nah, we can do it without citadel. Right. Come on, move faster. We really need a landship in the front line. How does it look like with the other land ships? Two more turns, then we get two more, and then we all get one basically every turn. God, this is gonna hurt. There's so many units now that can die. There we go, there's one down. I didn't expect this one to die. Come on, Antwerp, help me. So everything is done around Athens. You don't care about more improvements. I could build a mine here, perhaps. Okay, fine. Let's build a mine. Now, all of this is finished. Do we need any more improvements? We could use some help here. Now, how far can the land ship move? It can move here and still attack, that's important. It really doesn't look like, like Korea is running out of units. Come on, die. Now I can use both attacks every time, so that should be enough damage for the field gun to be like forced to move away. That'll lower the damage a little bit. Oh, that's even a kill. Hey, that's unexpected. I have no idea how I'm going to save this guy, but I just don't see a way. How far can we go? If I move a unit here, that unit is going to die, there's just too much damage. But then, if I sacrifice a unit here, then it means that Antwerp will have some time to repair, perhaps. Uh, 
was a lot of damage. I think I have to move back. How far can you go? Not quite enough. How far can you go? Also not far enough. It's not gonna work. I need the cavalry to stay on the road. Sure, it's not enough damage. Mm. I know that I can use this field gun, but I'd rather move it back. No, I have to do it. I think the best... Actually, I can't do it. I need to move the Fusilier here. Can I do it? Oh, uh, wait, I can. This is what I need. Still gonna die, most likely, but I think this is the best chance that it has to survive. 45, 45... Uh, you need repairs, so I'll just move out of the way. Uh, you are healthy, therefore you'll move closer to the city. You are not healthy, but I need a unit that can survive some, uh, some damage. Let's see, can I move back with the cavalry, move another fusilier? No. Fortify, fortify. I'm gonna move you closer. Because I'm gonna need another fusilier on this side. Okay, what is this? Oh, choose host. It's gonna be me, I'll try for the first time. We have 20. If no one votes for Korea, then uh, we actually might become the host. Okay, what is this? Sparta. Um, Sparta doesn't need factory. Fortify, fortify. You can actually move this way. Okay. And by the way, can I buy a lens connect in Sidon? I can. Could use another Gatling gun. The question is where? Let's move it. How far can it go? All the way here. And by the landslide.
Okay. Next turn. Uh, what is this? One, two, three. So it's gonna be a landmark. Keep working. Interesting that the city state is just sitting here, not doing anything. I'd expect these units to start attacking. Two, four, six with the general. Hmm. Go. So we're gonna lose this guy. I hope that's all. That's of course the chance that we lose one of these two. We could lose this one. Interesting. We didn't lose this one, but we lost this one. Assyria becomes host. Good. Even the Rome vo voted for us. Aztecs for Aztecs, Russia for Russia, Celts for Rome. Well, I'll just hope that uh, even this land chip, this one, arrives in time. Uh, you can build me a railroad. There is another land ship. Three, four. And one more. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that uh, that Zeppelin died to the Greek musket man. Good move. Fortify. So, what did we learn? We learned that moving a unit on this tile is a bad idea. Uh, what the? Heck? Oh wait, I can't move two tiles. Yeah. Ah. Let's move this Gatling gun up. How the hell is it possible I won't be able to one-shot this guy? If I can't one-shot him, do I even care about him? I'd much rather kill a uh, field gun. Well, I might not be able to do that either. This one is more fragile, it seems. Damn it. I'm still gonna kill it. It's another kill that I can get. Uh, you can sit here. And let's hit this one. Now, you gonna pillage and stay here? How is Antwerp doing? Antwerp seems to be fine-ish. So how far can I move this guy now? Yeah, I thought so. Let me just stay on this line. Promise if I attack 
here. I'm gonna be in bombardment range of Busan. And that's gonna be the only unit in bombardment range of Busan. And I don't know what's here and here. So probably don't want to risk this. I'll just fortify. I'm gonna move. Thinking probably moving here would be a bit too greedy. Let's move this guy. Move here, here. Now we have actually only three field guns in position for next turn. Fortify. How are you doing with the road? That's better. Not sure if this is a good idea, but okay. Let's put more production for Sidon. And we have some more production around Sparta. We don't. Well, the city still needs five population, so I'll just give it more food. Okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna make a cut here. And uh, in the next episode, we should be able to finally start attacking the city. Where are all the land ships? There's one here. There's one here. So we need like three turns until new land ships start arriving. And then we should be able to just force all these units back. And uh, let our field guns attack the city. Uh, how many field guns do we have? Six. There's one, one, two, three, four, five. Where is the sixth one? Here. This one actually may die now. Although it's just a hit from the city. I don't think that the city can do 54 damage. I'd like to move this line one tile this way. We'll see. Well, it's gonna cost us more units. I can tell you that. I don't think I can do this without any more losses. You're probably gonna lose like one unit per turn uh, until we take the city. But uh, once we take the city, I think the Siege of Saul and Helicarnassus should be easier. There will be a lot more room, especially for our land ships then. And uh, overall the terrain is just better. Those cities can support each other, but Busan... Uh, that's a good line. Because we only have three tiles when we will be safe from bombardment on either side. But still, I think this is the most uh, like difficult uh, siege of this war. Once we are done with it, everything else will hopefully be easier. Um, I guess you'll find out in the next episode. Uh, for today we are done, so I hope that you liked this episode. I hope that you can join me next time again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.